Hello. Today's practice lab would be about troubleshooting issues with inter VLAN routing. This network will be designed and configured to support three VLANs. Inter VLAN routing is provided to us by Router 1 and is using an 802.1Q trunk, what is known also as Router on a Stick. And it is routing to a remote web server. And here in our example is represented by the loopback 0. There will be intentional faulty configurations and we will troubleshoot the issues one by one until we finally will be able to verify the right configurations and this network is up and, ru and running. I have the configuration for the router and three switches already typed on a notepad. I will copy and paste from the notepad to the configuration window in the network device. I will show you how this would be done. When I start troubleshooting, I will first de define what didn't work as expected and then analyze the existing configurations to determine and correct the source of the issues. This lab would be complete and ready when I will be able to demonstrate IP connectivity between each of the user VLANs and the external web server, which has been represented by the loopback zero and between the management VLAN and the web server. I hope my videos are helpful for those who are seeking to be certified for the Cisco exams. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel and share it on your Facebook page and give me the thumb up. And please let me know if you have any suggestions, comments or questions. I will gladly answer you back. On my Facebook page, I created a group where I posted all of my labs there. The name of this group is CCNA Free Practice Labs Walkthrough. You need to install Packet Tracer. I posted a video to show you step by step how to download and install Packet Tracer version 7.3, either in English or Arabic. See my video channel or my group on Facebook and please follow through. On the description of this video, you will find two files, one for the packet tracer source file and the documents to walk you through the lab step by step until you finally will be able to verify the configurations you did during this lab and the notepad. This notepad, you will have a copy here on the description of the video, the faulty configurations for the network devices in this topology. Now what I'm going to do on router 1, first I'll go to the notepad and here for router 1, uh, router 1 configurations, just copy from here this line where it's showing the host name all the way to the word end here. Right click, copy and then on router 1 because all of our configurations will be in the global the global configuration mode that's why we need to be in the global configuration mode and here you have one of two options either find an empty space here right click and click paste or just hit paste here this button click it and you are done hit enter and everything is pasted into the router configuration now we will do switch to go to uh, the notepad from here the host name all the way down until the word end. Right to click, copy on switch one. As I said, you need to do the configuration or paste it. Uh, the configuration mode should be in the global configuration mode. Enable configuration mode and then in an empty space here, right to click it and then paste and hit enter. Another enter. Now for switch two, the same. We need to be in the global configuration mode. Enable, comp, T, then go to your notepad. And from here, copy from the word host name, switch to all the way until the word end, end of the configurations, right click it, copy, back to switch to, and here I'll do it by clicking this button or paste, enter, enter, and you are done. If you look, you can see there is no errors. It's not showing us any sign of errors in this configuration. But the configuration, as I said, is faulty. Enter, enter. And here, as you can see on switch one, 
the same and on router this should be router one sorry about that click here and go through the configuration we cannot see any errors here now what we will do on router one here first let's notice on the topology it's still showing us here red which is not something wrong and uh, here we have the sub interfaces or the router on the stick on router one configured for these three vlans 1 20, 10 and 20. as you can see here something wrong the port has not been activated and maybe some of the configurations here is wrong that's why we will do or we have today's lab to show you how to troubleshoot this kind of issues what you need to type show commands in order to track the issue and then fix it edit it fix it or uh, completely delete it with i'll show you how so now what do we need to do here as we said on the router in the configurations we need these three sub interfaces to be configured here but if i type this command this show command show ip route it's showing us only for the loop pack which is represented here with the web server here connected to router one that's it but what about the other three sub interfaces so something is wrong going on another show command we also we can define or that there is an issue interface brief and here is showing us the physical interface is down our physical interface on this interface of gig 01 this is gig 01 it's unassigned the IP address and showing us the status is done and the protocol is down here and and also the sub interfaces only the interface for the loop back zero is up all the sub interfaces are down except for this loop back zero which is representing the web server on router one and another show command i'll type in here which is show run enter let's check the sub interfaces here it's showing us for the sub interface of gig zero slash 1.1 which is showing here in this table, this is for VLAN 1. Here is showing us interface for the sub-interface of gig 0 slash 0 0.1, the encapsulation dot 1Q11. This here means for the VLAN, which is VLAN 11, but we don't have in the table anything about VLAN 11, which is maybe by mistake we typed the extra one here. We need to fix this. So how to do it? from the configuration mode we need to be in the sub interface of gig 01.1 type no encapsulation dot 1q11 now encapsulation dot 1q1 and then hit enter i'll go get out from here and then type the command show run and then go back to the sub interface here showing us that the interface of gig 0 is uh, a sub interface here it is uh, correct, corrected encapsulation dot one q for VLAN one, which is our native VLAN. But here it's showing us no IP address for VLAN one. So the sub interface here, this is the IP address. So we need to configure this IP address. So we'll go in the global configuration mode. The interface of gig zero one point one. Enter IP address of. 172.16.1.1 slash 24 subnet mask and then now I'll get out from here go back again show run and let's check it again here is showing us the for the sub interface of pig 0 slash 1.1 the encapsulation for that one q for vlan 1 which is our native vlan and we configure the IP address it is correct 172.16.1.1 slash 24, this is correct. For the other sub interface of for VLAN 10, encapsulation dot 1Q for VLAN 10, the IP address, which is for VLAN 10, 
here is showing 172.16.10.1. And here is showing 172.16.11.1. This is wrong. We need to fix this. How to do it? Do it this way. Configure terminal for the interface of the sub-interface of gig 01.10 for VLAN 10. No IP address of 172.16.11.1 slash 24 subnet mask. So this is how we delete this configuration. I have to put the right configuration for the interface's IP address of 172.16.10.1 slash 24 subnet mask. And from here, and then go back to see what we did. And here is showing us that encapsulation dot one q for VLAN ten the IP address look up here which is correct. And now for VLAN twenty encapsulation dot one q twenty one seventy two sixteen twenty dot one and this is correct. Let's go up. Why it is still red here? So let's find out. And for the physical interface on the gig, gigabit Ethernet 01 is showing here it's still shut down, not activated. So what we need to do is activate it or enable it. Configure terminal, the physical interface of gig 01, simply type no shut down. And as you can see for the physical interface and the sub interfaces for VLAN 110 and 20, all of them are coming up. So I'll do it again. And from here, show run. And it is showing us, let's check from the top, for the loopback zero, which is correct, 209.165.200.225, and slash 27, which is, this is the network. And for the physical interface, and it is up and running. And here we have the sub interface for VLAN 1, which is correct, for VLAN 10, which is correct, VLAN 20, which is correct. And we are done with uh, router 1. So let us now check on uh, switch 1. On switch 1, I need to run some of the show commands here. First, I will start with sorry about that. Show uh, VLAN brief. Let's study this table here on switch one. We need two VLANs to be configured here on switch one, which is VLAN ten and twenty. We can see only VLAN ten, and we need to correct this. And the other uh, show command, which we can run here, show interface trunk. Before I run this command, we have the link between switch one and router one. This is a trunk, should be a trunk. And between switch one and switch two also, on this interface of F01, it should also be a trunk. <clears throat> how to find out what has been configured on your device or switch been configured of, uh, as a port as a trunk and th with this command and here when I type show interface trunk it's not giving us anything it's completely blank now we need to configure these two interfaces on the F05 and F01 as a trunk this one router one and this link here to switch to next i will run another show command i'm showing you a few show commands that you can use during your troubleshooting show run here the link to the router should be a chunk on f05 let us scroll up to f05 and it's showing us access this is wrong it should be configured switch port mode as a trunk on this link between switch one and switch five and also on f01 
here the link between switch one and uh, switch two. This interface should be configured as trunk, but here it's showing us switch port mode access. We need to correct this. So now let's start fixing these issues. From the global configuration mode on the interface, interface connected to the router on F05, switch port mode trunk, enter. Now let's check what we did. Or either I can type in and do it from there or just simply type do show run here. <coughs> so sorry. Now switch port the mode between the switch and the router. I configured it as port. Now on the F01. The, one, the link between switch 1 and switch 2, this here should, we need it to be configured as trunk. Uh, and or exit on the interface of F01, switch port mode trunk. Enter. Do show run. Let's see about these two ports. F01 trunk. F05 connected to router one is trunk. So let me run this command. Do show interface trunk. Now before it gave us a blank, a blank, nothing there. But now because we are we configured or we have a trunks configured on the switch showing us on the port of F01, the mod it's on, encapsulation 802.1Q, and it is trunking out to in the native VLAN 1, and the same here. This connected to switch 2, and this port connected to uh, router. Now, Exit from here and another exit. Show run. Now we have PC1 here on this port F01. It's connected to the switch and this it should be configured with a VLAN 10. So we need to see here F06 what is telling us. It's telling us it's nothing is configured on it. So we need to fix this. The way how to do it, first configure terminal on the interface of F06, uh, switch port mod access, and we want this switch, switch port to be access in VLAN 10. Enter. I'll get out from here, show run, and go back. And here it is corrected. The port connecting PC1 to the switch. Now I will check on VLAN 1. Let's scroll down to VLAN 1. The interface for VLAN 1 is 172.16.1.11 and it is down. It has not been activated. And also it has no default gateway. If it is down and the default gateway being configured for VLAN 1, it should show. So now what we need to do here to fix this issue, configure terminal, interface for VLAN 1. And as you can see here, it's telling us for VLAN 1 is shut down. The IP address is configured correctly but it is shut down. I need to activate it with simply type the command no shut down, enter, it's coming up, and go run. <coughs> now let's check on VLAN 1. Interface for VLAN 1 is up, but where is the default gateway? So how to do it uh, this way. Configure terminal interface VLAN uh, interface VLAN 1. Uh, I type no shut, I'll exit from here. The IP default gateway 
for VLAN 1, 172, the 16, the one, that one, hit enter, and show run. And here is showing us the, the interface of VLAN 1 with this IP address, and this is a default gateway on this interface here, the physical interface. This is for VLAN 1. I will run this command on, sorry about that, uh, show VLAN brief. Here we, it's showing us only VLAN 10. We have this port, it's the status, it's active. This port F06 connecting PC1 to the switch. But where is VLAN 20? Show VLAN. No VLAN 20. We need to add VLAN 20. Configure terminal. Uh, VLAN 20. And we will give it the name of teachers. And show VLAN. Brief. Now we have both VLANs plus the native VLAN, which is the VLAN one. Now let's do our work on switch two. So far, things are going on the right direction with this troubleshoot. Uh, as for the password of Cisco and enable, and this is CCNA. Enter. Now on switch two. I'll type the command show run. Here we notice the link on F01. Let's scroll up. Has been configured correctly. Switch port mode trunk, which is the link connecting switch 2 with switch 1. And on F018, its interface. Uh, it's a switch port mode access and switch port access VLAN 10, which is wrong. This should be with pure VLAN 20. So going back to switch 2, configure terminal on the interface of F018, uh, switch port mode, uh, sorry, switch port access VLAN 20. Enter. And run let's see if this corrected the issue uh, it has been corrected scroll down here for vlan 1 ip address is correct but still shut down and uh, the default gateway has been configured correctly so we need to fix this configure terminal interface vlan 1 enter no shutdown. And show run. For VLAN 1, with this IP address and the default gateway has been corrected. Now I will run this command to see what VLANs have been configured on the switch. Show VLAN brief. And showing us VLAN 10 with no name or and VLAN 20 which is configured as teachers on and this interface being uh, F018 connecting uh, PC2 to the switch. So configure terminal VLAN 10 sorry VLAN 10 and name students. And show VLAN brief. And now it has been configured correctly here. Now, after everything being configured, 
correctly let's verify to see if our troubleshooting and the way how we fix this issue is being done right so on pc1 i will ping the default gateway for vlan 10. i'm here on pc1 on command prompt ping 172.16.1.1 enter and it has been successful now pc1 i will ping pc2 ping 172.16.20.3 and it went through which now I will ping the loopback zero, which is our representing our web server here on 209.165.200.225. And it was successful. Now on PC one, I will ping switch one, the upper arrow on your keyboard another time. And switch one is uh, the 11. It should be successful. And it is. Now on PC one, I will ping switch two at the upper arrow on your keyboard. It's 172.16.1.12. Enter, it should be successful. And it is. Now it's an easy way to see what IP addresses and VLANs have been assigned to each device and each port. When we use the command show IP route, and also it makes it easier to check the information for any errors. When you your first step towards the troubleshooting any issue is show IP route. Uh, if you are dealing with the switches, show VLAN brief. If you are dealing just to know what configuration has been run in your network device, just simply run the show command show running configuration or show run. And this will just look, uh, have a look at the topology, study it, study the network, the blueprint, and then just compare it with the result you see when you are done with running this command and what you have and just compare it to study it and just keep running uh, the show commands to troubleshoot an issue. I hope you learned something from this video and today's uh, lab. And if you have any suggestions, comments, or any questions, please write me either on the YouTube, my YouTube channel, or on my uh, Facebook page or the my, my Facebook just uh, try to reach me in any way if you have anything and I will answer you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Have a nice day.